final we have all been waiting for. Two of the best going head to head. It has been all about getting to this stage and two teams have made it. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined by Stuart Robson as always on these special occasions for commentary. It's Kent facing Silkeborg. Well, Derek, we've got two very good teams here. Both like to play on the front foot. Both have some great individuals. This should be a really entertaining game. I'm looking forward to this one. A look then at the starting eleven. Well, as you can see, they're going to play with a front two. And if you do that, it's vital that they work as a pair. They need to play close to each other and combine as much as possible. Oh, Stuart, an opportunity. And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. This is what they'll be facing today. Well, it's a 3-5-2, but the key player is the holding midfield player. Not only does he protect the back three, he also is their link-up man when they play out from the back. He has to play well. Can they jump in front? And still danger here. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here it is again, and I don't think it's good enough from the goalkeeper, you have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone, and at this level, you're always going to be punished. One nil then. It's with Musonda. Top that song. Well, what a top notch pass. Oh, he's blocked it. Now well, there to intercept. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Good through ball. And a useful cross. Oh, magnificent save! Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. Well, it was never really going to be of concern to the keeper, that one. Torbarsson. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Well, the supporters think it's on. Surely the equaliser. And that's a straightforward stop. Well, the stats tell you everything. The chances have been few and far between, and they haven't tested the goalkeeper anywhere near enough. If they want to get something from this game, they're going to have to improve in the final third. And they still don't have the ball. That has been a recurring theme. And the cross goes in. And a simple clearance, a good one. That is that for the first half here. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Could be! Oh, not to be! Stopping a certain goal! Now the quick counter-attack could be on. Keeps going. Stopped a certain goal. Uh, 
and Brown in possession and there to intervene so a half an hour remaining Watanabe Sven Coombs with it oh nice ball pretty straightforward in the end chance maybe to use the counter attacking ability to good effect incisive pass and the keeper more than equal to it and time for the change now and over it comes still not clear into the penalty area oh he saved it well doing well to win it back what can they do from here 15 minutes left for play well that was a great save but the way they're playing at the moment the equaliser can't be far away now well they've decided to make a change And Brown in possession. Well, that's good defending. Well organised at the back. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. This could level it, but denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. I couldn't really direct it where he wanted. De Poit. not made it look routine but read it well oh he's left his marker for dead this could be the equaliser it's still alive and denied by the post offside the verdict however so no drama and totalling up all the stoppages we'll have two additional minutes And there it is, the final whistle. Cup success is theirs, and they've done it on merit. 